Keep them coming, Apple. <coughs> and <coughs> we here you go. are uh, done. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Apple. Well, what do you have today that's fresh and exciting? Somebody thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. I got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell him I'm not here. I left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> My cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet. Using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky! <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> Sometimes he makes me so angry, I could just, just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since... Well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well... <sighs> he's won the golden chili every year. Ugh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that, that ugh, cousin of yours. Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I I couldn't. It just isn't my 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 style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat him! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. Dear. I know it. <laughs> but 
<laughs> Why, thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! No! <laughs> Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I've cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Are we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? <laughs> Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. Know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! Let's see you top that! <laughs> there's hot and there's hot. And that's Hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have. Hot sauce is rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? <gasps> so that's his trick. Oh, I should have known! That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world! The big blue blazer! Wow! Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So, 
where? No one knows. It said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering metal fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. And keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. <laughs> Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about... Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turned that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Barrack and Bloom, what is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry? I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. Isn't this lovely? And no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package for me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, Cuz! Can you hear it? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove! The sound of victory! <laughs> The big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, want to go for a walk? No, uh -uh. why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's amazing what you can do when you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? Me. Oh, my! Did I do that? No! Oh, Tisk Tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> Nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But, but, what happened? Barry Kim Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Kim Blue. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. I guess we'd better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. What is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. No, but, uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it, really, uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? <laughs> Not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what did they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? No, no, never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, of course I do. I, oh, but I don't. And I do. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Ah! You won! <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, Cousin Bertie won't be happy about that. <laughs> he was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get 
busy. Start making more hot knot sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh no, not again. No, it's from the contest judges. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and bitty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> you never know what will happen. <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What's to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Berry Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I love it. Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During 
the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin. But after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit JD Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, JD Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah, huh? Is so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk. Or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> Fine. Wow! Look at all the great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, oh. <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum. Mm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well. I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy, you must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <gasps> mm, let me try that. Get your own. Girls, please, 
If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very best friends forever. Never let each other better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best. Friends forever, a fur, a fur, a fur, a fur. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. with that. Going somewhere? I wish you would go... <sighs> we don't want to give away the surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard, Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... And those twins. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> Cafe is closed. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, a little help here? Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay. <laughs> We're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well... Sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh. And be nice house guests? 
I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> each other down as long as we're together things will always turn around us city girls have the courage we're not afraid to take our chance in the end it's always worth it so make your move and do your dance you might get lost but it's okay when you've got your friends Pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh dear, that's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but. <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> Quick! Turn him around! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Bitty City myself, but but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. Oh, poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but... All the way to Acorn Acres. This is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Berry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeannie Bug. Ah! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 No! Oh! <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh, special delivery! Wait! How about a nice don't drop this package? Oh! Oh! Here's a sorry, doesn't live here anymore! <sighs> I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you! Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's gotta go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface! He's teaching a cake decorating class! Psst, strawberry! Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem! Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon. I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry. Please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh. Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. 
You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard? So I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Very Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry! Strawberry, come back! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse yeah. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, 
Away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls! Please? Please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine? Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no. That one. Mm, that one. That way. To the river. Oh, yeah. You're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Go. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake. The bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, <laughs> we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? Cupcake? Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> what do you think? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Ta-da! <laughs> Miss Shortcake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready! <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> yes. Special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you, and happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello, Miss Orange. Oh, hi, Very Kin Boyle. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh no, it's fun! And I love the built-in hopometer. Jadybug! Did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin Bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I 
I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry King Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty world record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello? Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but... But what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. 
Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. Uh, didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Meriba Ertl Jude Slipper? Oh, what? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> oh, bitter berries. Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. Wait. Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. 
Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofalupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow! You look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No. That's great. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? Huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi! Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. Oh, well, I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! Oh, 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 oh. oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and uh. tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? <gasps> is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Pinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Break. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Oh, oh please, please Ogres. <laughs> wow. It's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh what's a great there? <laughs> well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say... Goodbye. Oh, 
Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you lost again! Oh. You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, well, um, and, uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well... Maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't! But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame! The fortune! The fans! Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come on! <laughs> Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, yep. oh uh, Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? 
ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, <gasps> pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. <laughs> Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I rent my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City! The fabulous Ra -ra Raspberry! Oh. She eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry. Love that show. What a welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. If you find out, don't tell me. I don't 
think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. May this fills need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, ra, ra raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories
Raspberry's going to love it. She isn't going to hear it. Ra Ra Raspberry isn't coming. Mavis said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The Raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the Raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for Raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the Raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, well, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. <gasps> the very bitty city boat race. <gasps> I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait. If it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the very Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us! Let's go back and restart the race! Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh! Oh, I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party. For you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> Could you do this to me, this maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Plum. I 
know, a surprise vacation for my friends. To the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Very <laughs> Blueberry, is everything okay? Uh, uh, oh, just breezy. I mean, uh, be beyond great. I mean, very fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye! <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> You're looking at swimsuits, but summer's almost over, silly. <gasps> uh, this? Uh, uh, I thought it was a hat. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? I think you're trying to hide something. <laughs> Are you planning a special surprise swim party? Um, no. So, you don't need a swimsuit? <sighs> no, no. Absolutely not. Not at all. <laughs> okay, then would you help me store these suits away? I have to make room for my fabulous fall fashion. Wait! Stop! I can't hide it anymore! But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone! Oh, sure! Of course! Um, absolutely! Strawberry is going to take us on fantastic... Oh, <laughs> Surprise! My fall colors are in! Fall? Uh, we really are more interested in your summer colors. Like that in a mango mood you had? Or how about your playful papaya? Or sudden summer sunshine? But it's almost fall. Why do you want summer colors? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've known you long enough to sense when secrets are simmering. Um... Uh, okay, okay. But it's a secret. What's a secret? <laughs> okay, the most important thing about not letting Strawberry know we know she's taking us on a vacation we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time, with feeling. Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> wow, finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised. Surprised by what? Oh, uh, uh, we're practicing for my new play. <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh, see if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh sure, Strawberry. Come on. <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're gonna go snorkeling on our vacation! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. This is the best way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Come on! What did you say? I said, that was close. What's she doing now? I know, she's waxing a surfboard.
have something very, very important to... Um... Hmm... Hold on. Um... Oh, here it is. I wanted to ask you if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you, you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure, just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. Word. Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hiya, Blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love it's mine. What's wrong, Blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island. And, <laughs> can you believe it? There are... Um, uh, no restaurants there, anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, huh, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, no, oh, no, no. I'll be very hungry. Oh, Did you tell Strawberry? No, I mean, I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's funny, yeah. right? I'm sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. We won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Ooh, ooh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, so yeah! 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 No, you can't. I, I mean, the island food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps, uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Oh, that was awful. I hope they weren't too disappointed. What's awful, Blueberry? <sighs> oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. <gasps> oh. <laughs> May I ask, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Uh, I'll see you later, Bosley Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. That's it! Higher! Higher! Just because we're bitty doesn't mean we can't bounce big! Yay! <laughs> Blueberry! Go practice! We're not going hungry on vacation. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can't-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry! No, wait! Blueberry? We'll have to work on the landing, but look at all the fruit you picked. 
Nothing's gonna stop us. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, girls. But, um... Well, what I'm trying to say is... Well, the trip is off. <gasps> Strawberry canceled it? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, she will. Yeah. Uh, I did some more research. And, uh... A very big blue jay. So? So, well, <laughs> the only airline that flies to be on the Berry Breeze Island is, uh, called Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> and believe me, it is bad news. You sit on a bird and hang on for dear life. And they don't even land. You have to jump. You have to bring your own parachute. Own parachute? Aww. Thank you, we won't be going to be on the berry breeze. Oh. <laughs> Poor things. They were so let down. What if you just told them about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened? <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now. Because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. In fact, it's going to be fun. Come on, join us. Oh, maybe some other time? Like now? <laughs> I'm okay. Mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete free fall. Free fall. Must I? It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. <laughs> Strawberry alone. What is it, Blueberry? You know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend. I don't know if you will be after I tell you. 
I... I overheard you talking about that island. The one in your essay. Oh, my describe your dream destination essay for the contest? Yes, except... I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, my strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well, don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was all my misunderstanding. So, there's going to be no vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be no vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No blue jays? Mangoes snork... Blue Jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays. It sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream, dream destination. destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. Great idea! Will you all help me write it? Give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond the Berry Breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it. Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work! Yeah! yeah.
to an island resort called Very Breezy Bay. <laughs> it may not be beyond the very breeze, <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> Thank you for not giving up, Blueberry. Well, I had some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs>